What's going on guys? It's Nicole Charnel here. Welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, we are talking about my food and fitness challenge. So I literally created this challenge for myself this past week. Um, basically, I had been looking at doing the 75 hard medium soft challenge. If you don't know what that is, it's basically 75 days and you do seven different things for the whole 75 days um 75 hard that's it's just basically it's different levels the hard the medium and then the soft or easy for lack of a better term um and basically the hardest thing about it is is you have to do all seven of the things every single day for 75 days and if you don't um, do it for one day, you have to start all over at once. So you could be at day 25, you miss doing one of the items, and then you have to start all over at day one. So um, basically what intrigued me about the challenge is like basically what you're gonna get out of it. It is centered around moving your body, um, eating well, taking care of your mind as well as your physical, um, all of that. So really just re, it kind of just revamps you. You know like really like puts you in the prime state i'm trying to think of the right words the words i want like your optimum self right like that is the point of the challenge to kind of get there and i wanted to do the challenge but uh for one one of the things is you're supposed to exercise inside and outside two exercises uh, two i guess um exercise times a day and i'm just not an outside person so i knew i couldn't do that so then i was like okay i'll do the medium version um and not that I not that I couldn't do it because it's really a lot of it is discipline, right? Like you decide you're gonna do these things and you be disciplined with them and then you do them, right? And you hold yourself accountable. Um, but then I basically decided too late and now I'm about to go on vacation. So my vacation is in 45 days, literally 45 days from today. And I decided like at the beginning of the week or so, maybe like the end of last week, I was like, I want to do a challenge, but it's too late to do the 75 hard, soft, medium, whatever challenge. Um, but I want to do something along those lines, right? So I was like, I'll just create a challenge myself. And we're going to call it food and fitness because what I want to center my challenge around is eating better. My eating habits have slipped tremendously. Um, I went from having an occasional drink to pretty much having a drink every other night. Anytime I have a day off the next day, I want to have a drink. That's a problem because I'm drinking my calories. Not only that, having ice cream, you know, just having ice cream every night for dessert. Not good. This is not a good thing. Um, and then chips. For whatever reason i mean other than i mean chips are good they're delicious right i have just been you know wanting to eat chips can't eat chips every day just can't do it so i really just need to revamp my food and then fitness um i am doing a 12 week year and within my 12 week year i'm trying to get a handstand away from the wall i can do a handstand on the wall but now i need to like work on my core like really let like my deep core right continue to work on my shoulder muscles because muscles my shoulder muscles because that's what is holding me up pushing me off the ground um and just working on my fitness overall because that is something i enjoy so to me you can't have one without the other you can't have you can't be improving your fitness without improving your food i guess you could be improving your food without your fitness but they're just gonna like play off of each other, right? So I said, I'm gonna create a food and fitness challenge and it's gonna have the same premises as the 75 hard. It's gonna have rules um, that I need to abide by. It's just only gonna be about 45 days, uh, 50 days really. Cause like I said, I started a little bit last week. Did I start last week? Yeah, I started on, well, not really, uh, on Sunday. Today's Thursday. So, um, so yeah, I started like four days ago. So. Basically, I wrote down what my challenge rules are. So the first rule is clean eating. And I'm going to not eat out, not, not eat fast food, cook all my meals for all the meals of the week. Uh, and then I can have one meal. If I really want fast food, I can have one fast food meal, but I'm gonna try to not eat fast food at all. Um, and then one drink one drinking meal i guess like so not necessarily i have to go out and have a drink but maybe if i decide to have a drink um and i mainly did this because i don't like beer but i do like a particular beer and it's fall and this beer is a pumpkin beer i mean like and i and i bought it because i it's delicious 
so I have to be able to drink it at some point. So I gave myself like one drink to have basically. So that's what that's what I'm doing. But clean eating is the basis of the challenge, to be honest. Um, I wanted to really focus on my food. I noticed that when I track my food, I'm like looking inward. I'm like saying to myself, girl, you need to get it together. Why are you eating so poorly? You like, this is why you can't lose weight. Come on now. Like you, and you can do better. You can do better than this, Nicole. And that's what I'm saying to myself. So challenging myself to really just eat clean. Um, and so I go on vacation. Like I know when I go on vacation, it's vacation. So I'm going to indulge and I'm going to have all the things that I want and I'm going to eat however I want. So until then, I'm going to eat good. So the next of my challenge is I'm going to have, it, I want to have at least 100 ounces of water. So a gallon is 128, but a half a gallon is 64. So at first I said, I said in between 64 and 100, just because drinking all that water is, is really hard for me, but I definitely need to increase my water intake. I know that on a minimum, I can drink the 64 ounces, um, especially if I'm like, okay, like anytime I'm thirsty, I'm drinking water, right? I'm gonna drink those 64 ounces. But going beyond that is where I'm struggling with. I did pre, like previously, like a year, maybe like three years ago, honestly, I did a challenge where I drank a gallon of water a day. And it was a great challenge, but it, to me, it just wasn't sustainable. I went to the bathroom all the time. Um, and I have a job where I'm sitting on my feet all the time. Like I, I'm working. I, I don't have time to be using the bathroom every 10 minutes. Like I just don't. And I also don't have time to be drinking a, a bottle of water every hour. Like it was a lot. It was a lot to get a gallon of water in. Um, so that's not sustainable to me. Like I know that I can't, I really can't do that. The type of job that I have, like I literally, literally would be sitting there drinking water all day long. Um, and I just can't do that in my job position. So I'm just like, I have to do something else. So I just need to increase my water. So Currently, I was holding fast at half a gallon, 64 ounces, but I'm like, okay, let's up it. We're just gonna go 40 more ounces and we're gonna try and hit 100 a day. So that is my rule number two. Number three is to work out four days a week. Now this should be pretty easy for me because I do have a second job at the gym. So three days a week, I'm at the gym already. So I'm just like, I have to work out after I work those three days. And then during the weekday week, I have two extra days that I'm off usually. So I just go to the gym at least one of those days, but on the better week, two of those days. So that is rule number three, to work out four days a week. Rule number five is to weigh myself. Now I have once a week, um, just because like I was, I got kind of angry with the scale. And then <laughs> I was like looking back at like in my little tracker because I have one of those Bluetooth scales that like connect to my phone and it like just tracks every time I get on the scale, right? So I was looking back and at my lowest, I was 166 pounds. This was literally six pounds away from my goal, which is 160. Like the goal of what I wanted, like where I felt like I would be comfortable, right? Like right now, I feel really comfortable in my body. I have no aches, I have no pains. Like I'm a little sore, but that's because I've been working out consistently. But other than that, like I feel really good and I weigh 178 pounds right now. Um, so I'm like, okay, like if I lose 10 more pounds, am I going to feel crappy, you know? Um, and I would like, I used to say like, oh, I would get down, down to like 166 or 165 and I'd be like, oh, my back starts to hurt. Like maybe I just need to be a little bit heavier. Maybe that's why I can't lose these last six pounds. I don't know. I mean, I feel like it was also kind of like a giving up moment because I was struggling to lose the last five pounds. But yeah, either way, just, you know, me and the scale, just we got angry at each other and I divorced her and then she just came calling back. So it's fine. We're going to go. We're going to get back on the scale again. We're going to do that. OK, because I like to track my weight and it, it's not like bad anymore. It's not bad. We're OK. We're OK. So that is my next rule. So a part of the 75 hard is taking a selfie a day. Um, and also, I think I want to add that one in there and not like a selfie, but like a basically a body pic, right? You take one body picture a day. And to be honest, that's pretty easy for me just because I'm a picture person. Like I like taking pictures. So that one I'm going to add in for rule number six. I'm not holding super fast to this. Like it's not like a very strenuous thing for the picture part. Everything else, super strenuous, super strict. We're gonna we're gonna keep these other rules because these other rules are gonna help me lose the weight. Okay. So, but the picture thing, 
not so much but i do usually film um i do like week weekend vlogs or weekly vlogs sometimes so um i usually have like my i'm usually in that mode of like creating content so i need to capture content right so it should be pretty easy for me to get a picture a day of my body right and then the last rule is well, I guess this isn't really a rule, but I do want to take measurements. I'm going to take measurements in the beginning and measurements in the end. Now, my vacation is literally right after Thanksgiving. Um, Thanksgiving is like mixed in there. It's like my cruise is, is 45 days away, right? Which is a Sunday, but then Thanksgiving is Thursday. So was that three days in between? Um, but I, you know, I work on Thanksgiving, so I can figure that out. I can figure out the, the clean eating part. We can figure that out. We'll, we'll worry about, about that when we get there. But anyway, that is my challenge. Those are the rules. Um, yeah, if you want to join me on this challenge, like I said, it's going to be called Food and Fitness. My Food and Fitness 45 Day Challenge. Boom. There it is. Um, and for me, it's really for me to get like just hone down and like really get into vacation mood like obviously I've been working out consistently and I've been thinking about the fact that like you know getting a vacation like getting toned up or whatever like I want to look good in my bathing suit like I have I have been thinking about that but now it's like crunch time and like I said I wanted to do a challenge going to add in reading so if you've been watching my weekly vlogs which I know you have I know you have I know you want to see what I'm doing during the week I have been doing a lot of reading so um we are going to make sure we read 10 minutes a day uh I love reading I love reading for fun I love reading uh fantasy books and rom romance books uh, I've also more recently gotten to self care books or self-help books um things like atomic habits and um productivity or getting things done uh stuff like that so i've just kind of recently got it that oh my goodness black girl's guide to financial freedom love that book so far um but i want to make sure i am taking the time to read every single day so that's 10 minutes every single day either book either my fiction or non-fiction book one of the two at least 10 minutes and that's like i said that's 75 cards based off of seven rules that you just constantly repeat and you can't break it you can't break it so we have to start over well i only have 45 days left for my cruise we're not starting over but we are going to be disciplined i me nicole is going to stay disciplined for 45 days <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. So um, I will show you a picture of me in my bathing suit, what I look like right now. Uh, not too bad, not too shabby, but I just know I want to tone up some areas, right? I want to get a little more, a little more tight in certain areas. And that's what this challenge is going to do for me. And like I said, mainly I'm really focusing on my food for this challenge cooking at home like really planning my meals getting into a good swing of the things because i was just eating too much junk food and i was eating out too much and eating ice cream too much yeah we we're doing better we are doing better so this is also like a little bit of a fitness update so currently i weigh 100 178 pounds i'm pretty sure yes um when i started the challenge or started thinking I guess constructing this challenge I was about a pound and a half heavier so I have lost a little weight since I've been in the first few days of the challenge so that's definitely working for me um and like I said I'm trying to get back to a point where the scale doesn't bother me so I am currently weighing myself every single day I I'm in the bathroom only, almost every day if I'm in the bathroom about to shower and I haven't eaten yet for the day I'm gonna get on the scale basic this bottom line that's what I want to do just go ahead and get on the scale if I haven't eaten yet for the day um and yeah that I think I know that will help me with my my whole scale denial thing you know and I know that the scale isn't the only way to measure progress uh, but I also know that my body can get down to 166 and still look good for me so that's what we're gonna strive for we're gonna strive to get below the 170s and get back in the 160s and do good with my weight and do good with my eating because I've had no I know I know I can be happy at one in my 170s, right? I know I can because right now I'm happy with the way my body looks. I am enjoying it. I think I look good. Um, but I want to really challenge myself and push myself. And like I said, I'm getting ready to go on vacation. I'm going to be eating not the best. So um, if I do gain a little bit of weight, it just won't push me tremendously over like terribly, right? 
these are my goals. This is this is what we're talking about. As far as my fitness in the gym, if you don't know, I do a 12 week year, and part of my 12 week year is uh, I think I said this in the beginning is to get a handstand away from the wall. So I really been have been practicing arm strength, shoulder strength, all that, so I can push the floor away from me and get a good handstand. And then I needed, to, I really need to add in more core work. Um, I know that getting my balance is part of my core. So I definitely need to add that in. Um, I've been looking at a few core exercises online. They look pretty cool and like, they look like they actually help and also look like they're easy for me to incorporate into what I'm already doing. So I am working on that as well. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Like I said, this is like a what I'm gonna do for my challenge plus fitness update, plus I'm getting ready to go on vacation, so I wanna look good in my bathing suit. Just saying. We all know this is a reality. <laughs> if you're interested in joining me in this food fitness challenge, just go ahead and leave me a comment down below. Let's let me know. We can chat, talk back and forth about the challenges of eating right bra like it's just so hard um and if you haven't noticed i've been showing more food content on my channel that is because pretty much i just food is life like life is food food is life especially for me i love eating good food and not just eating good food like eating food that is good for me and then making the food that tastes good good for me love doing that as well so um i hope you are enjoying that coming along for the journey. Uh, I hope you have subscribed to the channel so you can see more good, healthy food content. And yeah, thanks for watching guys. See you guys in my next one. In my next video, I will definitely be talking about more updates of my fitness. Um, I think I will do how I plan my Maybe how I plan my meals and how I plan my workouts just like as a single mom because I know it's like it's definitely hard like it's a challenge that I still have weekly like just saying when I'm gonna go to the gym how long I'm gonna be there what I'm gonna do because I sometimes I get into this like fight fight or flight mode where it's just like I'm so busy like I can't commit to anything and that's not the reality it just feels like that right so so um on the flip side of that I've noticed that as long as I plan my workouts my food um and like what and when and all of that it helps me stay focused and it helps me get out of that anxious fight or flight mode so super helpful that's it for this video guys i really hope you enjoyed it uh if you're doing the 75 heart challenge or have done it let me know down below how it's going for you this is like literally my own made up version because i don't have 75 days and i've decided to do to do some type of challenge and i think it's like you don't have to like hold to society standards right so you can make any challenge work for you um but i also think it's important to like have some type of structure to really exercise your discipline and say i'm going to do all of these things for this certain amount of time and i'm going to meet this goal and that's how you achieve your goal that's how you achieve your achieve your best life achieve your best body achieve your best mindset mm -mm -mm. Yes, and if you didn't know, we're in the last 12 weeks of the year, okay? It is time to get in gear. And this is definitely something that will get you ready for the next year and definitely help you excel. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't seen my previous video on my fitness, my fitness update, I will link it on the screen. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, you can do so by hitting my face down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.